that calls on the world community and the UN to help the Syrians find a political solution to the crisis. The Syrian Arab army expands the areas of its control in Jobar and tightens the siege on terrorists in Hama, Idlib, al qunaytira and Dara'a. 150 terrorists are killed in Haditha and a plan is declared to clear al Fallujah of ISIS. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Yerado Krikorian from the News Center in Damascus. The special UN envoy to Syria, Stefan de Mistura, called in a statement he made to journalists today that the international community and the UN should help the Syrians find a political solution to the crisis. We are in a preliminary stage of our discussions. That's why I will not elaborate on the nature of our discussions, but they've been very useful. Bottom line. The United Nations, Umum al-Mutahida, will strive and continue to do so, particularly now, with renewed energy to assist all Syrians wherever they are. That's why I got with me Mr. Yaqub. And uh, assist uh, all Syrians wherever they are and the Syrian government. U.S. President Barack Obama launched what he called a plan to confront the Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant, ISIL, pointing out that the American army will expand its airstrikes against it in Iraq. The American president also voiced his intention to send 470 experts to Iraq, stressing, however, that no ground troops will be involved. Obama made it clear that he will target ISIL everywhere and will not hesitate to strike it in Syria. The American president described ISIL as a threat to the people of Iraq, Syria and the Middle East, reiterating his readiness to support the Syrian armed opposition, which he labeled as moderate, like al-Nusra and the Islamic Front, which are in reality ideological branches of ISIL, calling on the Congress to arm these terrorist groups in Syria, thus revealing the true face of the American administration as a sponsor to international terrorism. Commenting on Obama's plan to combat ISIL, the spokeswoman for Iranian Foreign Ministry, Marzia Afkham, said that some of the countries inside the international coalition to combat terrorism have been supporters of terrorism in Iraq and Syria, as other states did not shoulder their responsibility to combat these groups. On the contrary, they were dreaming of initiating political changes inside Iraq and Syria. Afkham pointed out that there are many doubts about the seriousness of the coalition to combat terrorism. China called for respecting the sovereignty of other countries in terms of combating terrorism, which has become a crucial issue. The spokeswoman for the Chinese Foreign Ministry, Tuan Chun Yang, said Beijing opposes all forms of terrorism, adding that the international community should come together to combat terrorism. She pointed out that fighting terrorism must be part of a collective effort within the framework of international law. Welcome back. Syrian Arab army units have eliminated a number of terrorists and injured others in Al-Qunaytira suburbs, destroying their vehicles in seven villages. They also killed and wounded gunmen in seven other villages.
Australian Arab Army units have continued their clampdown on terrorist gatherings and hideouts, eliminating a number of them and destroying their criminal tools in a series of operations downtown Dara and its suburbs. A military source said a Syrian Arab Army unit has destroyed a warehouse of explosive devices in Mhajje in Dara suburbs. The Syrian Arab Army units also eliminated terrorists and wounded others in 13 sites and demolished their caches in four villages. A hideout of terrorists' leaders was also destroyed downtown Dara. In Homs, a Syrian Arab army unit has ambushed a number of armed men west of Azara village and destroyed several boats in Arrastan Lake, which were loaded with weapons and ammunition, drowning them and killing other armed men in Umshershuh and Al Hilaliya farm. On the other hand, a source in Homs Governorate has talked of several terrorists killed or wounded by a Syrian Arab army unit, pointing out that the armed men were trying to attack oil pipes in the area between Atalila Protectorate and Ark Dam east of Palmyra in Homs suburbs. In Jobar, Syrian Arab army units continue to advance, taking over more of the buildings that had been occupied by terrorists and eliminating many of them, including mercenaries of Libyan, Saudi and Egyptian nationalities, as well as from other terrorist organizations like the so-called Islam Brigade, al ghutas Lions and the Islamic Front and the leaders of two more terrorist groups in a series of operations targeting their hideouts and gatherings in Jobar, Eastern Ghouta and other areas in Damascus suburbs. In Iraq, the Iraqi army continued to launch strikes against the terrorists affiliated with ISIL. Iraqi army has declared intention to clear the city of Al Fallujah of ISIL terrorists after completing operations in Haditha and Al Ramadi. The Iraqi forces eliminated more than 150 terrorists along the Iraqi Syrian borders. In the city of Adujail, south of Tikrit, Iraqi troops arrested two ISIL leaders. Finally, the final ceremony of the Children Club's summer course, which hosted an exhibition of the drawings of about 100 children, has been held at Dumar's cultural complex. Following three months of both work and entertainment, the summer course of the Children's Club was concluded at Duma Cultural Complex. A ceremony was held on this occasion that included a special exhibition for the works of the children participating in the club. Prizes were distributed among the most distinguished students. This activity is coming uh, under the patronage of the uh, Minister of Culture. It's, uh, it's uh, um, our aim in the Minister of Culture to work with the children to develop their uh, activities and to uh, uh, develop their uh, uh, teamwork. About 200 children between 5 and 14 years old took part in the course where they learned diverse activities like drawing, handwork and theatrical performance. The exhibition aims at improving the education standard and encouraging their quest for knowledge and learning through entertainment. With this, we conclude our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our website in English, syriaonline.sy. Now to latest business and market news with Karun Kyukjan, but after a short break.